this video will explain another, a different way of making these stairs. This one we made it so that it is um, basically constructing it out, out of blocks. But you know, Rhino is a per pretty powerful program that we can use the perspective view, the front view, the, uh, the, the back view and all that stuff. What we're gonna do is to draw this thing out on one of the front view in the elevation. Remember, we could draw in the perspective view, we could draw in the top view, we could also draw in the front or the side views. So what we're gonna do is to draw a stairs in the front view. We know, oops, I said front and I put top, huh? We know that We know that this floor is at the at the um, the origin line. So all we have to do is make sure that our grid snap is on, and do this a little bit mathematically. What was our what was our riser height? Eight inches. What was our tread height? A tread tread distance. It was ten. <laughs> so because we put a 20 inch block together, half of that is 10, right? So what we're gonna do is to draw this out on the side elevation. So I'll draw a line segment to make things a little bit easier. So make sure that it's line segment. And so if, if I click on one of the grids, right? I can, whoops, at the floor level, I could click, click on one of the grids and go up eight inches, eight inches. Which direction? Up. Oop, let's turn the ortho on so that it'll go straight up and then go uh, 10 inches to the right. I could always do it in the relative distance or I could just say 10 inches and it's asking me which direction. I wanna go this direction. With that, I have this first step. I could copy all of this. So if I select it and copy it, I could go from that bottom and keep copying just like we did the other stairs, right? And there I have up to the height of eight feet. After that's done, what I'm gonna do is to draw another line from the top of this to the end of that, okay? And I will offset this, offset, that's a command that we already, we already did, and maybe I'll offset it by six inches. So I'll set the distance to six inches, enter, and sharp, everything looks all right. Select the object, and I wanna, I wanna offset it towards the bottom, okay? Get rid of that line, draw another line from the top, like so, draw a line from the bottom and to the side, and I could fill it all these together. Fill it, and then radius is zero, everything's all right. If I say join, it will join. So if I do that, this thing should join. Again, select it and join it. So that is joined, right? I could select all of these pieces and do the join command. And now it is one object. So there I have a profile of these stairs right on the elevation. If I go to the perspective view, it's just a flat thing right there. It's just a line drawing. Just like how we did the loft, we can do the same solid extrude planar curve straight select that object or select that object in the front plane. That way I could stretch it in the perspective view. Um, let's say it was three feet wide, right? So three feet and there I have a stair that is a little bit better looking than that clunky bunch of blocks. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of this one because I don't like this one. It sucks. So I'll move this or move this into place from that top corner to the loft corner. 
stair. And this stair is occupying the same space as the loft and we'll remedy that um, a little <coughs> bit by, by using the Boolean union command. Let me hide this, this uh, shell again, hide, and then union this and this together. Okay, and of course it made all these ugly uh, isoplanes, but that's all right, because now this is all one plane. Um, okay, and then show, and there I have the planes back together. So this is where we should be with the model. Um, what we're gonna do is for homework, you are going to finish up all the windows and the stairs and the loft stuff. Also for homework, I would like you to um, make a 2D version of this, this object, okay? So we'll show you how to do that.